Research shows that cattle disposition can affect quality grade and a producer's bottom line. Daryl Busby is an Iowa State University beef cattle specialist and says there's a scoring system you can put into work on your ranch. And, uh, so now, you know, the scoring system is from the Beef Improvement Federation. It's a, it's a one to six system and that is a, a repeatable system. Uh, we don't score cattle on delivery because we think the trip to the feedlot influences how they react. So we give them a time to become accustomed to their surroundings and then we score them at on test weight, re-implant, and then prior to harvest and average those and, and consider that. And one would be a calf that you re put him in the chute, he's very calm, uh, you release him, he may jog or trot 15, 20 feet and settles right back down. A two gets a little more agitated in the chute, maybe wrings his tail, bobs his head a little bit, you release him, he jogs back, but as soon as he gets back in with his pen mates, he settles right down. You move up to four, a calf that hits the chute very hard, fires out of the chute, may slip and fall, may try and jump over some other calves to get clear in the back of the pen. He wants to get as far away from people as possible. A five, uh, you hear a little, a uh, few nasty words back behind, watch out, here he comes, hits the chute hard, may try and flip himself in the chute. You release the calf, he's jumping, falling, uh, whatever he can do, he may run into the fence. Uh, he, he wants as far away as you can. Six does everything a five does, but when you release him, he turns around and tries to eat your lunch. And so fives and sixes in our database of over 13,000 head, there's about 5% of the cattle are that way. These cattle are part of a research project, so they're familiar with this facility. Steer into the chute very quietly. Uh, stands. There we got a little movement, so uh, and uh, notice the tail ringing. Uh, be ready to, we're ready to release him. Jogs down the alley uh, via disposition score two. So the calf enters the chute, uh, walks, no, no problem there. Standing very quietly, a little bit of head bobbing. Uh, there's the tail, tail ringing that we were talking about. Okay, this calf's released, has his head up, ears alert, typically would be moving out at a quicker pace and probably if he would have left the chute like I expected, you would have called him a two. But he's, and there he, he's taken off is definitely a two. One of our observations, if a producer brought in 25 head of calves, most of his wild calves will be in tag numbers 20 through 25. And you'll see that a lot as you're working a pen of cattle, the calves that have worse dispositions hang towards the back. And it's what your mother told you when you went to kindergarten, watch who you hang around with. Next, we'll take a look at the economic imp impact cattle temperament can have on your bottom line. We'll be right back. Understanding the temperament of your cattle can make handling easier when working with your stock. Let's return to Daryl Busby from Iowa State University to learn more about how disposition can affect performance. The health issue is, is somewhat interesting in that we pull more of the tame cattle and we pull less of the wild cattle. So we went back and asked the feedlots, you know, why, why would that be? And they use what's called a DART system to identify sick cattle, depression, appetite, respiratory, and temperature. And if you think about cattle looking depressed, if a calf's wild, he has his ears up, he's looking all around, he wants to watch it. Well, he's never going to look depressed. Appetite is measured by cattle not, uh, not coming to the bunk. Well, if he wants nothing to do with the feed truck driver or anybody in the pen, he's gonna stay to the back of the pen. And so you have two items that are a big part of identifying sick cattle that the uh, wild calves are not going to show. The uh, impact of uh, uh, cattle that are, have bad dispositions, cattle that are aggressive uh, to handle or, or just basically don't want to be around people, is they gain less, uh, they have poor feed efficiency, uh, they have uh, less health problems, but they have higher death loss. They run almost twice as much death loss as tame cattle 
And then kind of I think the big surprise is the lowering in quality grade. We get about half as many primes, half as many premium choice such as CAB, uh, but we almost three times as many standards. And so when we look at producing quality beef, disposition may have a big impact on, on producing quality beef. Scoring your cattle's temperament can help when it comes time to process the animals. For more information, visit cattlemantocattlemen.org.